All right, you guys, we are our final comedian of the night. I need everyone to bring it together. Let's make it happen, okay? Make some noise for Steven Reynolds! Yeah. Holla! I remember the first time I heard that, I had no idea what it meant. A friend of mine, he's like, yo, Steve, holla back. I didn't want to look uncool, like I didn't know what he was talking about, so I was like, I'll see you tomorrow! <laughs> DMX. Remember the rapper DMX? This guy would do four things in every single song. He'd say his name, he'd growl, he'd bark, and he'd say, what? First time I heard a guy barking in a song, I was thinking, this guy's good. It made me wonder, like, how'd he come up with the idea of barking in a song? I think it was a complete accident. I think he was in the recording studio, it just came out, and he even surprised himself. He was like, D, M, X, R, 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 what? <laughs> what if it was somebody else, a different artist, who came up with the idea first? Hey, what if Jimmy Buffett came up with that idea? <laughs> <laughs> if you like pina coladas, oh. what? <laughs> I have three older brothers. Growing up, I got beat up a lot. So thankfully, they jumped in whenever Dad took it too far. <laughs> well, two years old, I didn't realize my father was an alcoholic. I just thought he was still learning how to walk. <laughs> I remember my mom would dress me to match my dad, so my baby bottle was always in a brown paper bag. <laughs> I was on Facebook the other day, came across the link to the off-Broadway show Alter Boys, so I gave it a like. But then I realized on everyone's homepage it said, Stephen Reynolds likes Alter Boys. seem like anyone's going to church anymore, right? right? I think the church needs to advertise, put a little something on TV or the radio, something with a little excitement. Something like, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Come connect with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph this Sunday! Watch the dream team of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost take on the mouth of the South, Lucifer, this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Not sure I want kids. I think they're expensive, full of germs. I like hookers. <laughs> Divorce rate in America is now up to 60%. That's terrible. That means there's 40% that are still miserable. <laughs> survey the other day, and it was surveying couples and uh, what they considered cheating. Like, you know, if you're holding somebody else's hand outside the relationship or kissing somebody else. And the first question was, do you consider um, sexual intercourse cheating? And 97% of the couples said yes. Well, that means there's 3% of the couples are coming home at night asking each other, who'd you screw? <laughs> Don't you kind of wish it was Nicki Minaj who was dating Chris Brown? Ooh. I hate the expression, he treats her like an animal. Doesn't make any sense. If guys were treating their women like animals, they'd be talking to them like, You want to go outside? Like, Who's my good girl? You're my good girl. You should rock. I watch these 
home improvement shows, the homeowners always say the same thing. I want to bring the outdoors in. <laughs> How about you save yourself a $40,000 re renovation and open a window? <laughs> I hate reality TV. Shows like The Biggest Loser. You know, first time I heard the title of this show, I'm like, The Biggest Loser? This must be some guy who lost millions in Vegas. Some Wall Street guy. The Mitt Romney story. <laughs> Instead, it's a show about losing weight. I'm watching two hours of somebody running on a treadmill. Who needs that? Go down to your local gym and look through the window. We'll throw anything on TV. Give us a show called When Postage is Due and we can watch the mailman deliver mail once a week. <laughs> I usually change the channels when commercials come on, and I'll start watching a new program, forget about the one I was just watching. You know, like 9.29, I'm like, shit, I was watching Modern Family. You know, I'll change the channel, because commercials are stupid, right? You ever see this Coors Light commercial? Show some people hanging out on the beach, somebody opens a can of beer and it starts to snow. <laughs> if I'm on the beach and it starts snowing after I open a can of beer, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm working on a tan over here. Instead, I got stiff nipples and a shriveled penis. It's more like a vagina. I don't want a vagina. Well, I want a vagina. You ever notice whenever we have like a big snowstorm, the news crew, they'll go down to the local hardware store, the Home Depot, and they show they're all sold out of shovels. Year after year after year. It's been snowing on Earth since day one. Shouldn't everybody have a shovel by now? We don't fuck with all the shovels! I'm a big fan of the show Downton Abbey. Yeah. All right. it took me like three weeks to get it right. For a while, I was calling it Downtown Abbey. Right. But even when I learned the title of the show, I still couldn't get it right. I was asking my friends, I'm like, you guys watch Downtown? Down, 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 down. I try to say it really fast in hopes it would just come out. You guys watch Downtown? Shit! Down, 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 down. After a while, I was like, fuck it, I'll pretend I'm Indian. You watch Down, Down, Abby? Down, down. I watch Down, down. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.